Hello, welcome to the Click Experts. And today we are going to talk about a T1 crossover. And we're going to terminate a T1 crossover. And in a, and in a T1 crossover, we don't need uh, all the wires. So we're going to curl back the wires we don't need. First wire we don't need will be the orange and green and orange white and green white we don't need so we're going to curl those back on both sides and we will only be using the blue and blue white and brown and brown white on both sides so we'll curl those back and unravel the blue, blue, white, and unravel the brown and brown, white. Straighten those out and we will work on terminating the first side. We'll unravel this side also. Before we continue, just want to let you know that if you're interested in becoming a field technician, please go to the link in the description. There is a seven day money back guarantee for an online field technician course. Become your own boss with a technology and recession proof trade. Straighten those out. And we're going to go ahead and take these scissors, the electric scissors, and cut that. Now, here is the diagram we're going to follow when doing a T1 crossover. So, see the RJ45? This is its, when it's laid on its back. And if you notice, it's going to be, we're following the one on the left hand side that's the that's the angle we're trying to get it in so we're going to get the brown white into the first pin the brown into the second pin we're going to skip the third pin and get the blue into the white i'm sorry the blue into the fourth pin and the blue white into the fifth pin so you have to be careful on this and look closely but just understand those are the pins we're getting them in. There we go. Oh, almost. And we have it. So now that we have that, it is the orange white first pin. I'm sorry, brown white first pin, brown second pin, skip the third pin, blue fourth pin, blue white fifth pin. Now you can use any sequence of wires to do this, and you don't have to use these particular colors but uh, the colors do have to match on each side and you do have to follow the same pattern for these colors. 
So we will now do the other side and understand that the other side is going to be different. In the other side, we're going to have the blue solid in the white in the uh, first pin and the blue white in the second pin. Skip the third pin again and brown white in the fourth pin and solid brown in the fifth pin. That's important to remember and that can cause a lot of confusion, but this time we have a RJ45 on its back. Plug right in. There we go. Terminate. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Also, thank you to all those who subscribe and donate. You make it possible for us to continue creating great videos for everyone. See you again soon.